Hi guys, I'm Randy with BRS TV and today we're showing you one of the quickest setup and easiest ways to mount your Radeon XR15 or XR30 LED light fixtures to your tank with the Ecotech RMS Tank Mount Kit. Today we'll discuss the features of these single fixture mounts, show you what they come with and walk you through assembling and installing one on your tank. For Ecotech Radeon owners who may not be able to hang their fixtures from the ceiling or don't desire to measure and drill holes in their ceiling, the RMS mount kits are great solutions to mounting them with a very low profile while also keeping the cords out of sight. The RMS mount kits for the XR30 and XR15 are the most common mounting choice for those tanks that only require one Radeon, but also offer reefers who need multiple lights a way to mount them from behind the tank with even more flexibility in placement and spacing between the fixtures. Along with that, each RMS mount includes multiple slide rail lengths to achieve a wide variety of light spacing needs in your tank for the best coverage from left to right as well as from front to back. Finally, although both the XR15 and XR30 mount offer the ability to rotate the X bracket, this feature is especially handy for the XR30 users to meet the needs of lighting deeper tanks from front to back or other unique lighting requirements. With only two RMS mounting kits to choose from, which span the entire Radeon generation line, choosing the right mount for you is as easy as matching one to your existing light with either the XR15 option or the XR30. The XR30 mount kit will fit any Radeon XR30 Gen 1 to Gen 4 light fixture, while the XR15 mount will fit both the saltwater and freshwater XR15 fixtures. When you open the box of your XR15 or XR30 RMS mount kit, you'll see the vertical formed arm which will mount the light fixture about 8 inches from the top of the tank and a clamp that opens to a touch over 1 and 3 eighths of an inch for rim tanks with the spacer installed or around 2 and a quarter inches with the spacer removed for rimless tanks. You'll also get a protective rubber gasket for the outside of the tank clamp and a rubber screw cover that can be trimmed if necessary as well as screws for mounting the light and a hex tool to lock the assembly in place. Place. The XR15 mount will include two sliding rails with a shorter one at 7 inches long and a longer slide for deeper reaches over the tank that's 10 inches long as well as an X bracket to hold the light. The XR30 includes the same two size rails as the XR15 as well as a third longer rail measuring 13 inches and an X bracket designed to specifically fit XR30 fixtures. Assembling each mount is very easy to do and only took me a couple of minutes starting with the clamp which you can install on your tank first. If you're installing the mount on a rimmed tank, you will want to keep the included spacer on in order to avoid an unstable connection on the rim, yet with a rimless tank you can remove the spacer for more surface area contact with the glass. After clamping the arm to the tank you can use the rubber screw cover which can be trimmed to better fit the remaining exposed screw. Now you can attach the X bracket to your desired sliding rail using the included mounting screws and a cross tip screwdriver. Most commonly reefers mount their lights over the center of the tank, in which case the XR15 sliding rail should allow you to extend the light from around 7 to 10 inches of reach with the shorter rail and 7 to about 13 inches with the long rail from the edge of the tank to the light center. While the XR30 rails have you covered from that same 7 inches all the way out to about 16 inches with the longer rail, but keep in mind you can expect a slight angle in the light when fully extended with the long rail. With the X bracket and sliding rail attached, you can mount your light with the four small mounting screws, then slide the entire assembly onto the RMS mount, adjust the light, and tighten it down with the included hex tool. One thing to note here, you may need to loosen the locking nut before adding on the slide rail in order for it to more easily ride into the appropriate channel guide. All that's left to do is route the power supply cable through the channels in the sliding rail, which you can help secure in place using a couple of the included clips, and you're done. There's not much to maintain on the XR15 or XR30 mounting kits, however after any adjustments or maintenance to the light fixtures themselves, it's best practice to make sure that the locking nut is secured tightly. Outside of that, you may notice some salt creep buildup on the clamp of the RMS mount, which can easily be removed with some RODI water. Thanks for watching, and if you have any more questions that we didn't answer here, feel free to give us a call, send us an email, or hop on a chat. See you next time on BRS TV.